Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this follow along, we're going to learn about backup and restore keys. So what I want you to do is go back into the uh, resource group that we just recently created, and we're going to make our way over to keys. So I'm just, or sorry, we got to get into the vault first. Then we'll go over to keys, and the idea is that we have this key here. And so um, you can see that we have this current version, so you can add additional versions. But what's going to happen if we try to back this up? So when you back this up, you're going to get this file here. And if you open up this file, it's going to look like a bunch of gobbledygook. So I'm just going to try to open it here. Um, I have it up off screen here. So I'm just trying to open it up within uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to open up Visual Studio Code. Again, doing this off screen here. Just give me a moment. All right. And so this is the file um, that we encrypted. Uh, and you take a look here. And it's... It's, it doesn't look like anything, but the idea is that it is our backup of our key so that we can re-import that. And just taking a look at the key name, this is what it looks like. So this is my example vault, my disk key. Then there's this um, uh, date and that's key backup. So just recognize that's the format and the date is very useful to indicate when you backed it up. So let's go ahead and delete this key because the idea is we want to uh, restore that backup. And so we have deleted that key there. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt a restore. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Or occurred while restoring the key. The key you're trying uh, to restore already exists. Why would it throw that error? We've clearly deleted it. And the reason why is that we have purge protection on. We did that in the um, first uh, first part, when we set up this actual vault here, I'm going to just see if we can find the settings, wherever that purge protection is. I'm trying to remember where it is. Purge protection is enabled, so we can go here. And once you enable it, you cannot turn it off. It's going to retain it for a certain amount of days. Um, and so all you can do is soft delete keys. So this key is not actually deleted yet. If you go to manage deleted keys, you can see the key is over here. And if you try to click on purge, it is disabled because we cannot remove the key because we have purge protection on, but we can recover the key. So we'll go ahead and recover. Uh, and so that will allow us to recover the key. And if we refresh here, it's gonna take a little bit of time for that key to restore. So we'll just have to uh, wait a little bit and then it will show up. There's one other thing I wanted to show you was under policies because you know, um, if you go under, where's policies here, um, or access policies, if you look under our user here and we look at the key permissions, um, there is an option to purge. And we don't actually have that uh, turned on right now, but if we were to save this and we were to still go to that purge option, it would still say the same thing. So even if you have purge permissions, it does not matter if purge protection is turned on, it still will not let you purge, but you would need a combination of those in order to uh, you know, uh, be able to do things there. So to really show you how to do that recovery, I think what we should do, I'm just gonna delete our old key here because we don't care about it, but we are going to, well, I guess we could try to import it into the other one. So I'm just gonna undo that for a second, but we are going to go ahead and create ourselves another vault. So I'm going to go and type in vault at the top here. And we're gonna be a little bit more careful when we create this vault. So. We'll go here and we will choose um, my example vault. I'm gonna say my vault no protect. And the pricing tier will be standard. One day, we're gonna leave it, oh well, seven is the lowest. And we'll say disable purge protection because we don't wanna have that enabled. And we'll see if we can import the key into another vault. I'm not sure if we can do that. Worst case, we'll make a new key, download the key, re-upload it but I'm just curious what would happen if we tried to upload the same key as it's still in another vault. I'm not exactly sure. All right, so this deployment is successful. I'm gonna to go to this resource. I'm gonna go ahead to go to create and we're going to restore from backup. And we're gonna take this key and see if we can actually import it here. So it looks like we can take a key and it can exist in multiple vaults. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this key. And we're gonna say, are you sure you want to delete this key? I'm gonna say yes. And if we go to manage keys and we refresh, it takes a little bit of time here. So we'll just wait a moment for this to uh, persist. And after a short little wait, like about two minutes, I refresh and the key is here. So if I go here, you'll notice the purges uh, option is still not available. We can obviously recover. 
um, but we don't have purge um, protection on. So if we go to access policies over here and we'll go ahead and scroll down and select purge and save our changes, we can then go back to keys. We'll give it a moment to save. We go back to keys, we'll refresh it, we'll manage our keys and we'll go ahead and purge it and that will permanently purge it there. So that's all it takes uh, to do that. So there you go.